Hello everyone. So welcome to Let's Data. Today I will show you how to uh, click any link on any website so that uh, uh, when whenever you want to automate the iterative processes on any website, for example, uh, uh, where there are multiple clicks and you are just uh, uh, getting bored of clicking multiple buttons and you just you have this iterative work every day. So if you want to uh, automate this process, uh, I can show you one demo in which I will show you how to click the link from any basic HTML website. Even though it has some CSS style sheets and other uh, designing components, but our main task is to find the uh, component which you want to click. So today we will see how to click on a link from any website. So watch this video till end and if you did not subscribe the channel please uh, subscribe let's data so we'll start now uh, i'll just create one file so i will give name linking uh, so yeah so what we are doing is we will be doing some web scrapping and in this web scrapping we will be using the selenium library inside python which is mostly known for automation and uh, from selenium we will be uh, taking help of web driver and web driver will be communicating with google chrome since i i will be using google chrome for this particular demo so first from selenium let's import web driver uh, so the point to be noted here is you should have all these libraries installed using pip inside your uh, uh, python bucket so if you have installed python you should have the required libraries so i will tell you what uh, what else is required but from web driver you may need uh, ideally from web driver manager we will import chrome driver manager so let me explain you uh, we have imported web driver from selenium from web drivers web driver manager inside chrome we are importing chrome driver manager so this is how we require these packages and one more package which is required here is time i will tell you how why it is required uh, now we will uh, just go on to the basics where uh, I, I want to do few steps. First step is click on a website like it should open a web browser for me. Inside that web browser it should open a link for example www.something.com and once it opens it should find the button or a link that I want to click and once it locate that button it will click it. So these are the steps from the algorithm that we are going to perform. So for everything that we discussed here, first step always is getting the instance of browser. So for getting the instance of browser, we can write the code to fetch driver from web driver. Driver name is Chrome driver manager. and every time your python program runs it should install this web driver yeah so you can see this is how we can get the instance of browser by installing chrome driver manager from the function available function chrome that we just imported from the web driver and it is ultimately uh, retrieved from selenium library so yeah this is how we can get the instance and now using this browser instance since we have the access to our chrome now if i want to open any website i can give the name of that website inside this get method so i have to put something so let me first open my google chrome and just go to some random website for example uh, w3schools right so you can see this is a simple HTML website W3 schools very popular everyone knows it and uh, the important thing is yeah what is needed now is uh, first the URL 
I'll copy it. I will paste inside this single quotes. Yeah. So now when this statement gets run, it will uh, this just open an instance of browse uh, in a new tab and just open this website. Okay. Now what I will do is I want to see all the components on this web page. So for that, just press Control U. Now what happens is uh, complete code of uh, uh, the HTML code, uh, the front end code will appear in a new tab. So inside that code, you can find out various components available. For example, if there are any buttons or not to click, right? Uh, if there are any links, if there are any text. So if I just want to check what is this learn HTML, either it is a button or a link, what I will do is I will go to that control U page and just search for learn HTML. So fortunately, this is a link because it's a tab. A tag is meant for href that is hyper uh, hypertext links. So it's not a button. So uh, I want to click a link. I don't want to click a button. So this is the good uh, like good component to uh, uh, click uh, currently because this is what we mean to perform, right? So for that matter, what we will do is most of the times when we open a browser instance, okay, uh, every time uh, maybe the internet connectivity is not good. So it may take time and uh, uh, ultimately next statement is to execute uh, something like uh, uh, clicking a button button click event right so this statement gets executed then this statement gets executed so uh, if the website is not loaded properly it will not find the button to click this may happen right so for that matter what we do is uh, we will just uh, use the time dot slip method for example the five seconds so that uh, let first load all the page completely and then perform what you want to actually perform on this website okay so the next thing that i want to do is create a button instance using browser find element so you can see there are a lot of a lot of methods available like element by class element by id element by link so these are the different components and uh, for every component there are various elements available from web driver uh, methods but i want a simple uh, method which is find element by link text because i know the text I don't want to mess up with the IDs and classes. I know this text learn HTML page. I want to click learn HTML page. So now I have this button and I will perform a click operation on this button. Okay. So what it will do is uh, it will click on this particular button and this HTML tuto tutorial page will pop up. So this is something different page clicked from this button so this is our task so it should perform and after it performed it uh, i will again slip for three seconds and then close my browser instance let's see whether it will work or not uh, what was the name linking and here we go yeah it's opening w3 schools Perfect. Five seconds wait. Yeah, tutorial page and then close. So yeah, this is how we perform this click operation on a link uh, which text is learn HTML. So there are a lot of methods available to explore on this browser instance. The main purpose of this video is to give you a kickstart on automating processes. You can use a lot more other libraries available inside WebDriver, other functionalities available inside WebDriver. But the uh, main purpose here is you should know which library to use, what are the different packages inside this library, how to create the instance of browser, 
then how to get a web web page and then how to find any component or element and perform some operations similar to click so we have done all these steps in this video and uh, you can also explore and uh, let me know uh, if you face any difficulties or if you want anything more on this selenium library in python uh, we can take it in next videos so thank you for watching this video patiently subscribe this channel and if you like this video share this video and let's data